Pour 200 milliliters of milk into a saucepan and place in 20 grams of butter. Place the pan over low heat until the butter just melts and the milk is lukewarm. Next, tip 270 grams of bread flour into a mixing bowl and make a well in the center. Place three and a half grams of dried yeast on one side and three grams of salt on the other. Pour the milk and butter mixture into the center and then mix it together to form a dough. Dust a workbench with flour and then place the dough onto it. Knead and stretch it until it looks and feels a lot more smooth. Don't be afraid to add a little more flour if the dough feels a bit too wet and it's sticking to your hands too much. But the more you knead it, the less it will stick. Roll the dough into a ball and place it back into the bowl. Cover with a clean damp cloth and leave it to rise for one hour. After one hour, divide the dough into seven equal pieces. You can weigh them on some scales if you want, and if you do, you want them to weigh around 70 grams each. Next, roll each piece of dough into a ball. You can do this by placing your hand over the top and then just pressing down gently. The friction between the bench and your hand will create a ball as you roll your hand around. Next, generously sprinkle a baking sheet with semolina and place the dough balls onto it. Then sprinkle on top again with more semolina and firmly press each dough ball down with your hand. Cover again with the damp cloth and leave it to rise for one to one and a half hours. To cook the muffins, place a frying pan over medium low heat. It's important not to have the pan too hot because they will cook too quickly on the outside and burn and not cook fully in the center. So keep it on a nice medium low to low heat and place in the muffins. Cook for seven to eight minutes on each side until golden brown. and then place onto a cooling rack to cool completely before you cut into them. 